Hey, what's up everybody? It's Shamariel just coming to you with another celebrity inspired look. If you can't tell from the title, this one is exp expired? No. If you can't tell by the title, this one is inspired by Melissa Ford. Um, this is one of the looks that I've seen her have in her confessionals during Blood, Sweat and & Heels. And they just had their season finale for season two, which sorry my nose was itching which in my opinion it ended kind of like it seemed like it just started a couple of weeks ago and I was like season finale whatever but um this is one of the looks I saw that she had and I decided to try and recreate it she more so had this look in season one which I thought was kind of interesting how in like both two different seasons her makeup didn't well I mean they can do the same look I just thought it was kind of weird but um yeah in the earlier episodes of season two she kind of has a look similar to this and when I saw it I just started taking pictures and I was like oh I have to try and do my own little version of that so that's what this is um yeah so I kept I went outside of my comfort zone and did the nude lip because that's what she had and I feel like there's a lot going on with the eyes I added lashes not sure if she has them on probably but um yeah I added lashes and that's still a adventure for me I feel like I'm not that great at it I don't know I mean maybe from a distance they look okay but up close I'm not sure <laughs> so yeah simple lip eyes have a lot going on with the eyes so if you want to see how I got this look and maybe you can recreate it or whatever if you want to see how I got it then keep watching I've already applied my primer I used the Too Faced where is it There's so much going on here I used the Too Faced Shadow Insurance just the regular old whatever then I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'll be mixing cam caramel and Morocco to do the um yep that just happened to do the transition shade kind of go back and forth between the two and with this this is going to be an interesting thing for me to do because I usually do my eyes last I do my face first and then my eyes but I am switching it up for this look so should be interesting then I'm going to use my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette. Looks like this, ignore my broken nail. And I'm going to be using this color here, it's called Stash. I'm trying to, actually, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color Strike, cause I'm wearing Strike right here. Cause I'm just going through and looking at her face and I think I'm gonna kinda work my way from the inner to outer. I'm just patting this on. This brush came with the palette. It's a little two-tone or two double end kind of thing. Let's put that there. All right, so now we're gonna take that color stash that I showed earlier. And this is a Sigma SS239 brush. And if you're new to my videos, I've mentioned before that I started using Sigma when they first, well, I'm not sure how long they've been out, but when they first um, were kind of, I guess, launching or just whatever, they had different numbering on their brushes. Like it started off with SS whatever, and then the number, and then eventually they changed it to like E25, E40, whatever. So I say all that to say these brushes are old, <laughs> but they've held up. I am getting my nails done tomorrow. I always feel like I'm doing videos when my nails look broke down, busted, and disgusted. <laughs> and I'm going to take LBD, which is in this palette. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi, Amrezi, not sure how to pronounce it, palette. And just start in the outer corner. And just kind of swirl it. Patting and swirling. This is a Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeshadow stick. I'm gonna put a little bit right here and see, cause her black is a very pronounced black. And I probably should have done this on the other eye, but too late. Or maybe I could, I don't know how it will look. is make it easier for that black to stand out. This is a trial and error process. 
see how it turns out. Keep blending. Here, instead of using stash, I'm going to try emerald because the green is not as, what's the word, pronounced as I would like it to be. So this is, yeah, this is a little bit better. So now we have, yeah, I feel like you can see the green a little more because the black was kind of trying to take over. I'm going to take this, the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeshadow Stick, and go down here and just line my bottom lash line. Not too much. Well, I did on that eye. Right. And more blending. I'm going to take the other end of the brush that came with the Vice 2 palette and just get in there. All right, I went ahead and did my brows and applied some face primer off camera. And this is why I know that I'm not, what's the word, used to my, my normal way of putting on makeup. Because <laughs> I realized I should have waited to do my under eyes, but it's too late now, it's happening. Or it's happened. But yeah, I'm all out of sync. Because again, this is not how I normally do my makeup. I'm going to take... My Makeup Forever Foundation. I'm in the shade one N173. Couple squirts of that. And I am in desperate need of hiding these pimples. I don't, well actually I do know what's happening. It's Flo is, or she was here, and she decided to leave proof that she was here all over my face. Like what just happened to writing it on the wall or something? Flow is here. No, you have to leave proof days later on my face. That's not cool. Yeah, I definitely don't like putting my makeup. I'd, I'd much rather do my face first because now I'm like trying not to mess up my brows. Like I said, usually I do my face, then my eyes, then my brows, and kind of do it like that. But I was trying to switch it up and YOLO and whatnot and yeah this is the result result of me trying to be different now i'm taking the naked skin concealer by urban decay in medium dark warm so i'm going to be really careful with this because again i should have waited we're living and learning and i'm trying not to get too close to my makeup that I've already done because obviously we don't want to mess it up. Now that that's on, I'm going to set it with some NYX, what is this, NYX finishing powder. I got this not too long ago. I haven't used it, oops, I haven't officially used it yet, but we'll use that to set this. And I'm not a big beauty blender or beauty sponge, whatever you want to call these, user. Um, but I bought it, so might as well see what all the fuss is about. Although most of the fuss is about the official Beauty Blender, um, not so much the generic versions. I'm going to go with my tried and true Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder, one that I haven't broken, and just dab that all over to keep me from getting shiny.
I couldn't really tell in the picture. It doesn't look like she has a lot of contouring and all that stuff going on. So I'm just going to do it very, very gently, <laughs> lightly. Using my BH Forever Nude. I'm using this shade right here. I'm not going to do too much because it doesn't look like she has much, if at all. pigmented so this and I'm holding my brush at the far end and just kind of lightly swirling it like even that is like ooh. okay I'm gonna put on some gloss again not I feel like since she had so much going on with the eyes that her lipstick and all that jazz was very you know you kind of unless you just want to do it that way if you have a lot going on with the eyes I guess keep the lips simple um, so I'm using 1995 by Gerard cosmetics ah, I hate it I hate getting lipstick on my rubber bands it's so annoying by NYX is called tiramisu I'm gonna put on the red cherry 747 